don't listen to anybody else. Don't listen to unsolicited advice. Like I've learned a lot from plenty of people uh, who've been, you know, who are the head of me. I've said, how did you do this? What did you do? What did you learn? Or what do you think I should do? But uh, unsolicited advice, uh, no, don't take it. You know that I would say you know better than anybody, and there are going to be a lot of people who tell you that you're wrong. A thing, a thing is, uh, women get called bossy, like that's a bad thing. So mm-hmm. I've encountered, I've encountered in my career that uh, it's and it's not just men; it's men and women don't like me, a woman being in charge. They hate it, and then it's sort of like if you step up and you say no, don't do it that way, and you don't say it nicely. Whoa, big trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pretty much say everything nicely. I, mean, I never have, I, I, I mean, I'm just a nice person, but it's like, if, you know, if I go, no, move that light there, that light needs to be over there, you know, cause we're, you know, fight, you know, we're always, you know, we're working against time, move mm-hmm. that light there, this, do, do, do. you know, they want me to be like, oh, gee, I'm looking at this. Do you think maybe this light could go here? And maybe that might look better. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, That's how they, that's how people want me to talk. That's how people want me to act. And so I have a really good group now that understands that if I say, Hey, move this light over here. I'm not saying, I think you are less of a human being. I'm actually just, (laughs) I'm actually just saying, Hey, let's move the light. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And I, and I think everybody's fantastic, but no one's used to women being in charge. No one. You know, uh, it's amazing, and and they really, really don't like it. But uh, I think I think once they get used to it, they're like, oh, okay. And then there's some people who don't get used to it, and then you know they they don't come back for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just and don't. These are the people anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So uh, so yeah, my advice is, you know, because I just thought I just thought I'm young. I'm gonna listen to people who are older than I am, and um. You know, listen to people who have more life experience. And my other thought was, why would someone give me advice if they didn't know? Uh, there are plenty of people. So it, it's real. it would have been really hard not to listen to anyone because people would have been saying I was a, a bitch and I was bossy and all that stuff. But I would have done better. And I would have, um, I mean, psychologically, I would have done better too. So that would be my advice. I mean, and I don't know if that would be my advice for men. But because I don't know what it's like to be a man. I don't know if people tell you that you're if you're a male filmmaker, if they call you a bossy bitch. I don't think they do. I I haven't gotten that one yet. And I would honestly love that if that did happen. But that has not happened to me. <laughs> Someone <laughs> say you're a bossy bitch, Chuck. I go, Thank you. <laughs> you think you know everything. Yeah, you're directing a movie. You think you know everything. Yeah, I'm directing it. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're in charge. Well, yeah, I'm directing it. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, so I, I don't know that that I mean, it might apply to men, but I, I mean, my advice would be. uh well, I guess I can say to women, don't listen to anybody. I mean, there are plenty of women who came before you. Talk to them, get their advice, but don't don't listen to somebody just because you think they're older, they know more, they have business experience, they have life experience. No, it's basically just people who a lot of people who want to put you down and put you in their in what they think is your place. And so my advice is, yeah, ignore them. And if they won't, if they keep giving you trouble, you know, you can find someone else. I hate saying that, but you. You know, I don't like to, I don't, you know, it's like, I love people and if I find someone I love working with, I want to keep working with them. But if somebody has a problem with you being in charge. You've just got to, you know, you've just got to move on and, and just hope for someone else to come along and search out, search for people who are going to be supportive of you and not have a problem with a woman being in charge. Yeah. yeah. Um, the closest thing I can think of is that uh, when I was first starting screenwriting, trying to break in and uh, just understand what was going on. I went to a screenwriters meeting. Uh, God, this is, I mean, I don't know, 14, 15 years ago. That was a bad and, idea, right? I'm yeah, just well, curious. Oh my God. Yeah. So this guy was like, <laughs> he was, we were, we were, we were doing a reading and, and, and he was giving all this critique and stuff and I was writing it down. I was like, man, yeah. And like through the years, I realized like literally everything he said was wrong. <laughs> Like I just, I just accepted. I was like, this guy knows what he's talking about. No, everything he said was wrong. And I threw it all away. I was like, why did, okay. Nobody knows. He, he didn't know what he's talking about and probably nobody else does. Cool. All right. So don't yeah. Writing and classes and don't take acting classes. Uh, you know, you're either good or you're bad and Hey, nothing, nothing to be done about it. 